Alright guys, so really quick before we start the tutorial, I'm gonna have my dumb brother quickly give me a little taper just so I don't look uh, scruffy in the video. And also while I'm getting a haircut, I'm gonna go ahead and shout out the two lucky winners for that 400k subscriber mark. I'm gonna just randomly scroll through my phone while I'm getting a haircut and pick those two lucky winners. So good luck to everybody that participated in following our TikTok. And again guys, thank y'all so much for sharing these videos. To everyone that y'all think might find these videos beneficial and helping us grow our subscribers and grow this channel overall. So uh, let me just get this haircut in and we'll pick those winners. Yeah, he's still like... All right, so as I was scrolling, I already found our two winners. Again, before I say the winners, thank y'all so much, guys. I had over 2,000 comments on my video, and my brother's video had like 1,000, over 1,000. But yeah, for the first winner, we had Cuts by Gian. Cuts by Gian, he commented a, a lot of times, actually. Um, he put, love the content, bro. Keep it up. Much love. Fade of Culture. I get so excited when I see Fade of Culture on YouTube. Much love from, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that right, Suriname, Suriname. Suriname, congratulations, Cuts by Gian. I'm gonna go ahead and contact you by TikTok. I'll send you a message, that way we can link up and uh, you can let me know where you'd like to receive the $500. So, thank you, Gian. Second winner, there was two winners. The other $500 winner, Taylor G483. He put, super proud of your work, you guys. You have been putting into your content, keep inspiring, and many others. Much love to the culture, always only up from here. So much love to you, Taylor, and uh, congratulations on the $500. Yeah, thank y'all for showing us love on the TikTok. We will be posting more consistently on there, so please make sure y'all go follow it. Well, we're gonna do another giveaway at 500K subscribers, so. Yeah, so once we hit the 500K subscribers, we're gonna do another giveaway, so make sure y'all keep commenting and, uh, and share it. sharing these videos and help us get to that 500K. The faster we get there, the faster we'll do that next giveaway. So yeah guys, pretty much it. Congratulations to our two winners. Thank y'all so much for all the support and all the comments, all the feedback, all the genuine comments that we get. And uh, yeah, so let's just, are you done with my haircut? No, you haven't shut up. Well, as soon as I'm done with my haircut, we'll get started with this tutorial. What's going on, Faded Culture? It's Sergio Barron, and we're back again with another haircut tutorial. Today, I got my boy Junior here on the chair, and I'm gonna be breaking down my step-by-step -step process on how to do a number three guard on top with a high ball fade. Also, before we start, I'd like to shout out these hats that we did. We just dropped these trucker hats with the longhorn on the side, Faded Culture in the front. I could catch them at fadedculture.co if y'all like to purchase one. If y'all do like this video, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up, and also make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. And also feel free to share it to anyone that y'all think might find these videos helpful. All right, so before we start, I had a comment. Saul Teniente said, hey, don't mean to bother y'all. He said, can, can y'all make a video the opposite way? I guess he wants me to turn this way. No, I'll just play. No, he said, uh, hey, don't mean to bother y'all. Can y'all make a video the opposite way? For example, starting with the electric shaver and delete the lines as you go up if possible. If not, keep up the great works. Well, it is possible. It's not my preferred method of doing my fade, but uh, I'll do it uh, for those that like that process where I create the line and then I blend it out as I go up in the fade. Let's just keep leaving us comments about any suggestions and we'll try to reach as many of them as possible throughout our tutorials that we drop. All right, so to start, I'm gonna throw on the number three guard and I'm gonna make sure that lever is closed all the way on the clipper and we're gonna run this guard multiple times over the top of his head until we get an even cut all over and there's no little hairs like sticking up or anything. So once you're done going over the top, like I said, just make sure that there's no little hairs kind of sticking out that you might need to go over again. Also a good way to make sure is you could even kind of comb back on the hair and sometimes it'll stick up any hairs that you might've missed throughout the process of cutting the top. And if you don't, then go ahead and start laying down our guidelines on the fade. All right, so for the first guideline, I'm gonna start with the clipper lever closed all the way to a true zero. And I'm gonna lay down that first guideline right about right here where that temple peak area is. And I'm gonna just make sure that that line goes straight around the head until we reach the opposite side of his head at the same position that from where we started.
All right, now once you have finished laying down that first guideline, you're gonna wanna ensure that it is straight all around the head. Since this first guideline is the most important one, it's the foundation guideline, and this is basically gonna kinda determine if the rest of the haircut will come out straight or your whole fade at least. Look at them from the front, make sure that they're both even, and then just make sure that it's even up from the back as, as well. And then now, like requested, I'm gonna just go ahead and start taking out the bottom of the hair. For the bottom, I'm gonna come in with my trimmer, and what I'm gonna do is first attack the uppermost part of the bottom of the hair, and uh, I'm gonna just try to get in deeper with the trimmer so I can kind of leave it balder there. And then I'll come in and take out the rest of the bottom with the trimmer, and we'll be able to kind of leave a little faint line and that's gonna serve as a guideline to show us how, to show us how to come how high to come up with our electric shaver. So as y'all can see, now that I'm taking out the rest of the bottom of the hair, you'll be able to distinguish that little faint line that I was talking about, and that's gonna serve as our guideline to show us to how high to come up with our electric shaver. And now that the rest of the bottom of the hair has been taken out with the trimmers, I'm gonna go ahead and start using my electric shavers. Just make sure that when you reach that little faint line that we had left behind, make sure you use these shavers as they wear a pair of clippers. So you're gonna kinda wanna have that fading motion going on as you reach the top of that line. Or uh, just kinda release pressure on the shaver so that you don't create any hard lines up higher into the fade. All right, so now that we've shaved out the whole bottom of the head, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my clipper and open that lever all the way open to a half to lay down our first guideline. For the first guideline, we're just gonna come up about a finger in width high. We're just gonna make sure that we lay down that next guideline running parallel to that previous guideline that we set. All right, now to blend out that first guideline, what I'm gonna do is start with the clipper lever opened a little bit, and then I open it halfway, and then I put it to the three quarters, and that should blend out that first guideline before we move on to set in our next guideline. All right, and now that that line is blended out completely, I'm gonna move on and lay down my next guideline above this one right here. For that one, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the number one guard with that lever all the way open. And again, we're just gonna come up about another finger width and length up.
All right, so now that we've created that guideline with that one and a half, now to blend it out, I'm gonna go ahead and use this half clip with that lever position to three fourths. And all that lever position, three fourths, is really, uh, it's just the lever positioned in between the lever being all the way open and halfway. You're just gonna basically put it in the middle. Find the middle ground between those two positions and that's gonna be your three fourths spot. And then whatever, that this guard don't blend out, we're just gonna come continue blending with the clipper with no guard and the lever all the way open to completely take out that guideline that we created. All right guys, so now that I've took out most of that guideline that we created with that half clip, I'm gonna go ahead and instead of, I know I said use the half position to finish taking it out, but instead I'm gonna just leave it right there at that three four spot and continue blending it out. And now that we've completely blended out that guideline, now I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the number two guard with the lever all the way open on the clipper. And uh, basically I'm just gonna try to connect this side length to that number three that we put on top. And then it's gonna leave whatever guideline it leaves, we're gonna come back and blend it out. But for now, we're just gonna come up about another finger in length up high. Like I said, just trying to connect the side length to the top. So as we reach the top, make sure you kind of flick outwards so that you're not digging the two and a half too much into the top three. All right, so now that we're done with that two and a half, we created this guideline right here for us to blend out. And to blend that one out, I'm gonna use this one and a half clip on the clipper, and I'm gonna position that lever to that three four spot, and I'm gonna continue blending as much as this guard can take out. And whatever it don't take out, we'll come back in with the number one guard at that same lever position at three fourths to continue blending out the rest of that guideline. So now that we're done with that one and a half clip, like I said, uh, in some areas, it was gonna look like it still needed some more blending. So for that, for those areas, I'm gonna throw on that number one guard now, and I'm gonna still leave that lever on that three, four spot, and just continue blending those areas out till we get a consistent blend. All right, so now that we're done blending the whole sides, now what I'm gonna do is basically just come back in there and kind of look for any little inconsistencies that I see in the fade or any little dark areas. And we're gonna do what you call it, the touch up work. Everybody's touch up work is always gonna be different according or depending to uh, their hair type, how dark it is, how light it is, or uh, the, their hair density. 
For his hair, I'm gonna come in with that half clip and I'm gonna position that lever still at that three quarter spot. Like I said, just look for those dark areas and then using kind of the corner of the clipper, get in there and just kind of detail them out until we get a smooth, consistent blend throughout his whole fade. All right, so now that we're done with the whole fade, what I'm gonna do now is start working on the front lineup. Before I start the front lineup, I like to apply some spritz and I'm gonna just spray it over the front hairline and then I'm gonna blow dry it down with the brush. So as I'm blow drying it, I'm just kind of combing it down with the brush, helping it dry faster. All this is really gonna do is just freeze the hair in place so that it's not moving around. So when I do come in with the trimmers, everything's frozen and it just helps the trimmers cut the hair really sharp. Been doing this shit for like two years and I still can't talk to a camera comfortably, dog. <laughs> it feels weird. So now that that spritz is really dry on top to the touch, we're gonna start by laying in our horizontal line first and I'm gonna kind of step, take a step back and then I'm gonna come in and set in my vertical bars on the side and then I'm gonna just proceed with connecting them, making sure that I'm flowing as straight as possible across his forehead. All right, so now that we're done laying down the hard line with the trimmer, we're gonna go ahead and start the shaving process. For the shaving process, I'm gonna use my matte black Beta Culture straight razor. If y'all like to purchase one, go ahead and check them out at betaculture.co as we do have them in stock. And uh, for those that are confused on how to use these, all you do is grab a fresh blade. And what I like to do is chip off the sides right here, just so that it slides easier into the razor holder. And all you do is kind of slide. Make sure that you hold the blade from the bottom since the top part is the sharp part. And all you're gonna do is just slide it in from the front and then just insert it at your preferred, uh, and then just insert it, and then just insert it at your preferred exposure. <laughs> and then just insert it at your preferred exposure. Or like some people like it more exposed than others. So just whatever you feel comfortable with when it comes to shaving. And then before you actually start shaving, I apply some shaving gel towards all the areas that need to be shaved. And then to help preserve the life of the shaving gel, what I'm gonna do is just spray water over it. So just to help keep the gel from drying out. So then once we're done shaving, all we're gonna do is blow dry everything really well so that we don't leave any little hairs on his face or on the back of his head. And then uh, from there, I'll show you all the haircut without enhancements, and then I'll show you all how it looks with enhancements. All right, so that was the haircut without enhancements. And if y'all do like to use enhancements, just mix equal parts of water with hair dye in a portable air gun, and then uh, just so that it dilutes and then just spray it to your preference. And if y'all like to purchase one of these or any of the tools at that that we used in this video, go ahead and I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything linked down in the description so y'all can go ahead and check it out for yourselves. I also have all the steps in written format that we used on this haircut. So if y'all like to follow along that way.
And now that we're done with the actual, the whole haircut, now I'm gonna just apply a little bit of pomade over the top, just to kind of bring out the haircut. And that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it guys for this tutorial on a number three guard with the high ball fade. If y'all enjoy these steps, please uh, don't forget to like the video. Make sure y'all comment what other suggestions y'all like us, uh, what other video tutorials I'd like us to go over. And also make sure y'all are subscribed and feel free to share this video with anyone that y'all think might find this tutorial useful. So again guys, my name is Sergio Barron. This is Spada Culture and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.